So, um, could you make this with like all chicken breast instead of thighs? You could. You're just going to want to cook it um, a lot uh, less time, I think. Less time for chicken breast? Yeah, probably. Because chicken breast will dry out quicker. You know what I have the most success with is using chicken tenderloins and cooking them like an hour and a half to two hours just until they're done. And they tend to perform, in my opinion, better than just a chicken breast. I just didn't know if you could do this Mississippi style or if you could do it McConaughey style. Huh. You know, where you put the chicken in, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot. No. <laughs> Your butter totally says butt. Salted butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna need some chicken, some some pepperoncini, some gravy mix, some hidden valley dips, uh, ranch seasoning, and my personal favorite ingredient, salted butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that that cracks you, me up. Oh uh, wow. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me, where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 400 recipes and rising. And today, we're going to show you a very simple recipe. This is a very popular dish in our house. It's very popular on the blog. And if y'all have ever seen me make the Mississippi uh, beef roast, um, it is very, very popular, and it is absolutely my favorritest dish that we have ever with uh, recipes that crock. Well, today we're going to make it chicken style. That's right, we're going to put a little poultry in motion today and do it with some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. What I have here, what I have here <laughs> is about three pounds, maybe a little over three pounds, just about, we'll say about three pounds of chicken thighs. So what I'm going to do is I'm naturally, of course, first take the chicken thighs out of the packaging and toss it in the bottom of my slow cooker. And there's no real rhyme or reason to it other than just make sure the chicken all gets down in the bottom. There's one package. Here comes the other. This dish is, like I said, very popular in the house. One of the simplest ones to make. It only takes a couple minutes to put it together. And then four to six hours later, it's ready to go. And there's no prep in the middle of it. You just put it in, set it, and forget it. I'm laying chicken on top of chicken. It's completely fine because this is going to cook for hours to cook everything down. And cook anything bad that is out, just like that. And before I touch anything else, what am I going to do, honey? You're going to go wash your hands. <laughs> All right. Soapy soap. And I'm surprised I didn't just scream and wail because I leaned up right next against one of those other hot <laughs> crock pots. All right. And you want to take... Au jus gravy mix. <laughs> Bless you, Mike. <laughs> what if we don't have au jus, Mike? What else could we use? You could use brown gravy mix. Uh-huh. You could use, I feel like you're prompting me to say something that I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you could use brown gravy mix or mushroom gravy, onion gravy. What she said. Just gravy. We it's just haven't had some au jus for you. And just goes right over the top of chicken just like that and then you need one packet of a ranch dressing mix the powder type and you take that and you put it right over the top of your gravy mix and then one of my personal favorite ingredients is I don't know if y'all can see it in this camera or not <laughs> But it is salted butt. You ever had salted butt? It's pretty good. This one was packed by plant number two. Michael! But uh, we are going to take it. I swear it's what it says right there. Michael. You can't make this stuff up. That's not 
So you're going to take your butter, your salted butt, and put it right on top of the chicken, just like that. And then, of course, I got salted butt all over my fingers. So we're clean off their fingers. And you want to take six pepperoncinis. These are really, really good. Not a lot of heat, more of a lot of sour. One, that one just kind of jumped out of the thing. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty, sue me. And don't, don't, don't sue me. <laughs> Please don't. But there's two, three, four, five, and six. And because I really like them, this this little pepperoncini has been staring at me the whole time going, Please, sir, pick me. I want to go with the salted butt. <laughs> and there we go. You're supposed to use six pepperoncinis. I'm using seven. Oh, you rebel. Because seven is my favorite number. Actually, I will use that to eat with. Toss a lid on it and cook it on low for four to six hours. And... <clears throat> How is the best way to tell them to let them know when it is done? Because I like you saw, I just stacked the chicken yeah. on top of the chicken. The chicken will be tender and fall apart with a fork. You just don't want to just keep cooking. Why? What'll happen? It'll get dry and ah. Uh. <laughs> you don't want to have dry chicken, that's for sure. So. I mean, cooking thighs instead of breast will tend to give you a. A less dry product, anyways. But and I'm getting me a pepperoncini out because I just think they're delicious. And when you get done, it looks just like this. Looks like cooked chicken. Because that's what it is. And that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> if, you, if you open up the lid and there's bananas in there, you've, <laughs> you've totally done something wrong. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> but when it gets done, I should make you go cross like that. Is, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so good. So would that qualify as one of your favorite chicken recipes? I think it would. <laughs> I mean, I'm a beef guy, 100%. Give me cow over everything. That's my favorite recipe is the beef roast. But if we're going to have an easy chicken recipe, that would be the one to go to. I mean, it took more time to talk about it than it did to put it together. And all those flavors go so well together. A little buttery with a salted butt. It's Would also <laughs> she, she really hates that. Um, you know the ranch dressing and the gravy mix just taste really good. They blend well together. It's very juicy. <laughs> Did you understand that? It's very juicy, not dried out. Of course, that's I mean it's been sitting in that juice. And cook it up for the last four and a half hours, five hours, however long you've cooked it. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And I bet this pepperoncini is going to taste good with it. Mm. Try it with a pepperoncini. <laughs> Don't just throw them out. Take a little nip out with it. Puts a little sour to it. That's very, very good. Simple, quick to put together. You just slow cook it, and you're going to have a happy family. Again, that was done with chicken thighs. You could also do it with chicken breasts. We would recommend that you use the chicken tenders and you won't cook it near as long. Probably two hours. About two hours for chicken breast tenders. Um, and very, very, very good. Um, and again, we want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. Uh, where we're shooting up these recipes straight from recipes that croc.com. If you would, check out the site. There's many, many more. We're trying to keep up with videos, but uh, she keeps popping more recipes on the site every day, and she keeps making me <laughs> Are you stand under out? these hot lights and, and and eating all this delicious okay, food. Okay, let's all one, two, let's, let's, let's all feel sorry for him at the same time. One, two, three. Poor, poor hoodie. No. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go. Oh. <laughs> If you would, also check us out at Facebook.com, and uh, that would be RecipesThatCroc.com over there, 
and also at Goodo Tunes with Goodo Boy, where we share promos of these videos as well as music and other fun things from the family. And also, if you would subscribe down below at this video where it says subscribe and join the Slow Cook and Crock Pot family that we're starting to build up here. A little crock pot army. I think that's what I'm going to call it. It's our crock pot army, the CPA. Oh my. And uh, um, we'll give you uh, tips on cooking as well as give you hints on future giveaways and contests and things like that. And again, we just really want to thank y'all for tuning in to us. Uh, you keep watching and we'll keep cooking. And all will be well. Bye. An army, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't mean to interrupt you or anything. <laughs> oh, no, Mark. I'll keep eating. <laughs>